Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss important questions of liquid liquid extraction, which are mostly asked in an interview. If you know the answer to any question, please comment in the comment box. And if you like my video, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Idda. So let's see the questions. What is liquid liquid extraction? So, liquid liquid extraction is an operation in which the constituents of a liquid mixture are separated by contacting it with a suitable insoluble liquid solvent which preferentially dissolves one or more constituents. In liquid-liquid extraction operation, the liquid solution and an insoluble solvent are brought into intimate contact. Then the constituents of the liquid mixture are distributed between the phases, resulting in some degree of separation. And then, the phases are separated from one another based on density difference. Hence in liquid extraction, components of the liquid mixture are separated by using another liquid, which is called solvent. That's why it is called liquid-liquid extraction. And liquid which is used for the extraction process is called solvent. Hence this operation is also called solvent extraction. Now next question. Define term feed in liquid extraction. In extraction operation, the solution which is to be extracted is called the feed. Example, recovery of acetic acid from dilute aqueous solutions. In this example, Acetic acid is extracted from a dilute aqueous solution of acetic acid. Hence the feed is a dilute aqueous solution of acetic acid. Now next question. Define term solvent in liquid extraction. The liquid with which feed is contacted to bring about the extraction of solute is called solvent. Example, recovery of acetic acid from dilute aqueous solutions. In this example, to extract acetic acid from a dilute aqueous solution of acetic acid, ethyl acetate is used. Hence ethyl acetate is solvent. Now next question. Define term extract in liquid extraction. The solvent-rich product of the extraction process is called extract. Hence in the extract phase, the desired product is present in a larger proportion. Example, recovery of acetic acid from dilute aqueous solutions. So in this example, to extract acetic acid from a dilute aqueous solution of acetic acid, Ethyl acetate is used as a solvent. So feed and solvent are brought into intimate contact. And the constituents of the liquid mixture are distributed between the phases. Resulting in some degree of separation. And then the phases are separated. From one another based on density difference. So the phase which contains desired product in larger proportion is called extract. So in this example, extract phase contain more acetic acid in ethyl acetate with some water. Now next question. Define term raffinate in liquid extraction. The residual liquid of the extraction process from which solute has been removed is called the raffinate. Example, recovery of acetic acid from dilute aqueous solutions. In this example, 
To extract acetic acid from a dilute aqueous solution of acetic acid. Ethyl acetate is used as a solvent. So feed and solvent are brought into intimate contact. And then the phases are separated from one another. Based on density difference. So the after the removal of extract. That means the phase which rich in desired product. The residual liquid is left. It is called as raffinate. So in this example. Raffinate phase contain a weaker acid solution. With a small amount of ethyl acetate. That means it contains. More water with acetic acid. And with a small amount of ethyl acetate. Now next question. What are industrial applications of liquid extraction? So. The industrial applications of liquid extraction are. Recovery of acetic acid. From dilute aqueous solution. Long chain fatty acids can be removed. From vegetable oils with liquid propane. Separations of petroleum products. Are having approximately the same boiling range. Separation of aromatics. From lube oil fractions using furfural as a solvent. Recovery of penicillin. From the fermentation broth using butyl acetate. Now next question. When do you prefer liquid liquid extraction? So. It is used for separations. That are not possible by other methods. Like distillation. When a mixture of liquids is not easily separable by distillation. That is. When the separation by distillation is ineffective. Or very difficult. Liquid extraction is used. Like for close boiling mixtures. Then. For the recovery of the solvent for reuse. Extraction is followed often by distillation or evaporation. Then. It can be used as a substitute for chemical methods. So that expensive disposal problems can be avoided. This method can also be used. To avoid thermal decomposition. Hence when substances that are thermally degradable or heat sensitive. Are separated by distillation. Because if we do it by distillation. The process is very expensive, ineffective, and difficult. Hence in such cases, extraction is preferred whenever large amounts of latent heat are required. So in the case of very dilute solutions, where water must be vaporized, a large amount of latent heat is required. So that process becomes very expensive. As in this case, Extraction is used when liquid mixture forms a zoetrope or close boiling mixture. Now next question. What is the difference between extraction and distillation? In extraction, constituents of the liquid mixture are separated by using insoluble liquid solvent and in distillation. Constituents of the liquid mixture are separated by using thermal energy in extraction. Differences in solubility of the different components is used to affect the separation. And in distillation, difference in vapor pressures of the different components at the same temperature is used to affect the separation. In extraction, Selectivity is used as a measure of the degree of separation. And in distillation, relative volatility is used as a measure of the degree of separation. In extraction, a new insoluble liquid phase is created by the addition of solvent to feed. And in distillation, a new phase is created by the addition of heat. In extraction, Phases are hard to mix and harder to separate. And, in distillation, 
Mixing and separation of phases are easy and rapid. In extraction, offer more flexibility in the choice of operating conditions. And in distillation, it does not offer more flexibility in the choice operating conditions. In extraction, doesn't need heating and cooling provisions. And in distillation, requires thermal energy needs heating and cooling provisions. For any process extraction is secondary choice for separation. And for any process distillation is primary choice for separation. So that's all about important questions on liquid liquid extraction. In the next video, we will discuss another set of questions. If you like my video, please like my video, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel.